Hey Taurus, how are you doing? This reading is for Taurus for the week of August the 26th to September the 1st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Tauruses? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the five of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. What's coming towards you? The 10 of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What you are focused on is the four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and your outcome is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Taurus, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles could be hardship, ill health, mental health, there's something that's depleting your energy and it could be a job situation because the six of cups is like fond memories nostalgic thoughts of the past reminiscing when times were good when times were fun when times were easy but i feel like there's an energy of like you've been somewhere for too long and it's become either familiar or there's something about codependency so there could be somebody who is codependent and rely relying on you too much or it's like an energy of something burning you out could be a job situation because in your focus it's like healing peace quiet privacy so let's see what this five of pentacles there can also be somebody um, in your external environment that is having a rough go so they might be feeling left out in the cold or left behind by you. And the Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And the Three of Cups is about good news worth celebrating, letting loose, having fun. Maybe this is too much of a good thing, like overindulging, overspending, overeating, partying staying up in the wee nights. This can be something to do with like third party interference or like a friend, a family member, somebody close to you could be a mother that's under the weather. Cause there's like five of pentacles here, but then there's like five people here. This is a need for you to put yourself on the pedestal here, Taurus. See how these people are looking up to you and putting yourself first is not selfish. It's selfless and necessary. And with this 10 of swords, it's like stick a fork in it. It can be betrayal. It could be like an ending, finalizing something, letting go of a situation, job situation. Yeah. I just feel like there's um, a little bit too much of a overindulgence or too much of a good thing and the nine of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy and the nine of cups same thing it's like wishes granted wish fulfillment a dream come true but my nine of cups is dealing with somebody who is smug self-centered self-righteous feels entitled to your energy or it's over indulgence overspending overeating overdoing it this is also can be like a love bomber so it's like somebody who takes you on a date you know you go out and have fun and have a good time and then they ghost you so see the writing on the wall with this person death card change transition transformation it might even be you dodging a bullet it's a blessing in disguise this is also your wish Fulfillment is like to end a situation. Six of Cups can be like friends, family, 
or needing to let your inner child out to play. Let's see what this four of swords is in your focus. Healing, rest, recovery. Um, also, it can be you keeping something private, quiet. Like maybe you're ending a job situation and you've only told a few people. You've even left people out or this is like an ending of a codependent relationship, job situation. And the two of swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. This is also my two-faced individual. So one's the truth, one's an illusion. And this is the need for you to get brutally honest with yourself. Is this working for Taurus? This is also somebody who is avoidant or indifference. So there's an indifference and it's butting heads with an individual. Four of swords and two of swords together is the six of swords. That means finding balance and getting out of choppy waters into more smoother sailings. The light at the end of the tunnel. I also feel like a person was telling you bits and pieces of a story, but they weren't forthcoming with all the information. And or that could be you. Yeah, because here it's like, I'm at peace. I want healing. I want quiet. And six of pentacles. Reciprocity. A leg up. This is also paying down debt or receiving some kind of an advancement. So here with the five of pentacles turns into the six of pentacles. So if you've been giving and giving and giving and giving and giving to a person, place or a situation, are you getting anything in returns? Yeah, this is like my two-faced friend, my two-faced boss, my two-faced lover. Let's see what this Six of Cups is in your blocked and challenged position. There could be children involved or something to do with like childlike energy that needs to come out and play. And the Six of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. So again, it feels like a situation you did in the past this is like reaping what you have sown and you've sown good seeds paying down debt or an energy of giving and receiving from somebody from your past this could be like a childhood friend or somebody owes you money or there's an energy of not feeling good enough, not feeling pretty enough. There's um, something about like going out and celebrating. See how this person's like on their knees, like begging for these pentacles. Don't beg for another person's validation or approval that you are good enough or don't beg for this person back. Because if they left you out in the cold and even Put an ending to something just see it as a blessing in disguise see how this angel here is giving to this woman here this one is left out so if somebody keeps constantly leaving you out of a situation it's a sign king of wands i love this energy spicy very charming charismatic but it speaks of bold, brave, courageous, taking action, solar plexus, not giving a flying flip-flop to the flip of what anyone thinks of he or she. You're just doing what it is that you want. And this confidence, this could also be maybe a new boss. Or maybe you are the boss. But it speaks of, you know, showing yourself off, looking good, smelling good taking action and temperance. Wow, beautiful energy. Major Arcana for Sagittarius. Temperance is about doing things within balance and moderation. 
not rushing yourself or doing anything excessively at this time. Temperance is also an energy of keeping one foot on ground and one foot in water and compromise. You just have to ask yourself of how much you are compromising of yourself and is it equal? Is it sh like fair here? This is also you being divinely protected on your journey. So go forth with your plans here. Temperance, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, checking in with yourself here, Taurus. So emotionally, how are you feeling emotionally, let's just say with job and career? Is it emotionally stimulating you? Is it emotionally fulfilling, challenging you? Or is it emotionally depleting your energy? Physically, this is about physically getting out and getting enough exercise, meal prepping, ingesting good fruits, vegetables. It speaks of detoxification and purification. And mentally, how are you feeling mentally? Are you feeling mentally stimulated at your job? Are you feeling mentally overwhelmed with a job situation? And I'm just using job as general. You can apply it to any kind of situation. And spiritually, it's like diving deeper into spirituality, connecting to, you know, your past on loved ones, your angels, or you're being guided and you're heavily protected on your journey. So this tough decision that you need to make between stuck between a rock and a hard place, always choose of what works well for you. And it might not be comfortable for other people to hear it, but it's not about dragging or carrying people who are codependent or boohoo on you, right? Everything's okay. The universe, big news, reassessment, support, guidance, and overseen. So you're being watched over at this time. And if anything slips away from your life, see it as a blessing in disguise. Because I feel like there could be somebody who overspends, overdoes it, overeats, whatever here. Um, it's a facade. Because this person um, might have pr money problems. Jovial pink, compassion, self-care, simplification, and beauty. Get back to the basics. Things have become too complex here. And it says, I can, I matter, I am loved, and I am enough. That's a really beautiful energy. Compassion and self-care right here. This is the purification and detoxification. And I'm not compromising myself to make another person happy. Maybe I did it in the past, but I'm not doing it anymore. And if somebody has ghost you and wants to come back around and apologize, or it's almost like they get you all boozed up and um, you know, you don't wanna make bad decisions here. Cameo, light green, happiness, vibrancy, energy, and hope. And see, this is about letting the inner child out to play. So see how like this person's like using their imagination and being Batman and then this is a, a ballerina. Because on the flip side, it says anxiety, burden, restless, and despair. So six of cups and six of pentacles. So... In your blocked and challenged position, it's like paying down a debt or there's an energy of giving too much away. And you're like, yeah, but you know, maybe my job will take a turn and it will get better. And that's the two of swords. It's like the lie. So don't lie to yourself because that's deceptive behavior. Like, oh, maybe I'll just um, not talk to this person and maybe they'll come back around. But why do you want this person to come back around? You're not needy and desperate.
younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man could be your brother could be your cousin could be your co-worker weeping willow family sorrow this person could struggle with addictions beetle good fortune fortune favors the brave Somebody could owe you money from the past, but I feel like it's either your brother or a sister or there's, I, I feel like it's a younger man. Door opportunities are waiting for you. It's gonna take your bravery, confidence to put yourself out there. Arcway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. You still need to take action because this is like stuck, stalemate, not, not taking action sitting on a rock and four swords is like healing so something about your heart chakra as well older man dealings or relationship with an older man claw be careful do not take risks calculated risks it means something that you've already planned out and mapped out, definitely. Tulip, great passion. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. And broom, new home, new attitude. I'm also thinking like new you here, Taurus, new attitude. New job, new attitude, new home, and turkey, someone behaving stupidly. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find. And how are you going to find that money path? By socializing or networking. There's something about socialization. Because I feel like you do have people that love you and want to be around you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options from there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.